Guys, what is the result? Contamination again. Mine is also contaminated. Same here. So do mine. Hey students, today we're going to take three analysis as I mentioned here. Uh, before we start our experiment, go get your dashboard pictures. Combinations of both of ways steaming carry out first. The users 
and able to set the time and the mode they want through the LCD control panels. However, if this accident happens, the system will automatically shut down to ensure the safety of the users. And when the users restart the wardrobe, the system of the wardrobe, there will be an error message displayed on the control panel telling that what happened during uh, what causes this sh shutdown of the wardrobe. Commercialization is a process of presenting a technology or innovative idea from the idea stage to the marketplace. And the potential of commercialization is the likelihood of a successful commercialization. Now, we will discuss about the commercial potential of our UV disinfection wardrobe according to the step process. Now I'm going to talk about the potential commercialization of our wardrobe which fall under two things which is technological area and then also the legal area. Technological area fall under two things which is technical attributes and the process of evaluation. For example, the technology that we use in our wardrobes are Gemicida lamp to avoid exposure and then uh, steamer to kill all the bacteria and LCD control panel to adjust the light intensity uh, and so on. So those taste waters are not equipped with this kind of uh, technologies. So our product is something special. The purpose of our technology that use in our water is to ensure the high safety level of customers and also uh, to satisfy all their needs in terms of hygiene of lab code. Besides that, we also use cyclic development method, which are the key features and the equipments are maintained every year. To, to produce a better product. And other than that, inflexibility of manufacturing are always monitored. Okay, the second part is process of evaluating. Why the process of evaluating is important? Because it determines the scale of product that before investing uh, in a major overhauls of existing process. Other than that, the cost of our product is very expensive in terms of technology and also the equipment but it is affordable for the customers. Other than that, uh, market value are important in, in the process of evaluating. And then the second part is about legal area. In legal area, there are two important aspects. First is patent right under government and the second thing is the process patent intensive. Our product is fall under civil law, which the patent holder can sue someone who infringe in the product in order to enforce uh, the patent. And other than that, our 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 water pot includes warranties where if any parts are break, the manufacturer fix it for free for the time that cover under the warranty. Based on market evaluation, there is yet a wardrobe which can be used for the disinfection of lab coats. Introducing our UV disinfection wardrobe would open a niche in the market as currently there are only normal wardrobe or clothes hanger provided in the laboratories. By using UV disinfection wardrobe, most contamination could be prevented and our customer could avoid tremendous loss in terms of money, reputation and human lives. UV disinfection wardrobe is targeted to a wide range of customers. From a smaller scale, our first style customers are university students and lecturers. Most of the times, students find it hard to clean their lab coats as they use them frequently, and the cleaning process is pretty tedious. By having this wardrobe, students' lab coat will always be in a sterile condition before they're using it. Apart from lab students, lecturers will also find this handy because they do not have to bring a lab coat for every lab session. Our second our customers is higher research institutes. From a larger scale, higher institutes that involves in research and development can find this product very much handy because they are the ones are more prone to bacterial and viral infection. By using this wardrobe, researchers are very much protected from harmful microorganisms which can be found in a very high level in unsterilized lab coats. Apart from researchers, this product can also be targeted to hospitals, clinics and pharmaceutical companies. For instance, doctors can leave their lab coats in this wardrobe to sterilize it rather than bringing it back home which is equal to bring back germs. Though the main purpose of UV disinfection wardrobe is meant for lab coats, but it also can be commercialized for multi-purpose use for any type of clothing. Here comes our third potential customers, which is companies which run laundry businesses. 
Normally, customers would leave their clothes to laundry in order to clean it from order or dirt. But now, companies can attract more customers by providing new service which is sterilizing their clothes. Now, customers can be provided with clothes which is not only clean from dirt but also free from germs. Now, it is very obvious that UV disinfection wardrobe is definitely a promising product, be it from a larger scale or a smaller scale. What is the impact on audience? By using the UV disinfection wardrobe, spreading of diseases can be controlled and also contamination can be reduced in the researchers and also experiments. Black coat are not just being used in black, it also used in hospitals by surgeons and also physicians. But uh, white coats are usually used for identification purposes. But there are always been some concern that white coats and nurses uniform and also other garments uh, in hospitals may play an important role in transmitting bacteria. For example, medical students use their white coats not just in lab, but they also use literally in all the time to, to cafeteria, to library, to clinical, uh, to non-clinical and also non-practical classes. It is uncommon to see a white coat being left on a chair or being carried out of the hospital premises. Thus, white coat used in lab and in hospitals are potentially contaminants and also may have a role in transmitting the microorganism. By using this UV disinfection wardrobe, the garments can be exposed to the UV light and also this can kill the microorganism and avoid transmitting of diseases and also the contamination can be reduced in exposure and also researchers. Please don't forget to like, 